was scary. Watch an encounter between a Sonoma County family's dog and a mountain lion. They say the big cat attacked their dog and part of it was caught on camera. NBC Barry's Robert Honda spoke to the family about what happened and their mixed feelings about what happened next. The mountain lion just sat outside the glass door of a Sonoma County home waiting with the family's unconscious dog laying nearby. The scene was caught on camera by Rebecca Crocker the Monday after Thanksgiving at her home in a more rural part of Santa Rosa. Rebecca says she heard one of her dogs, Sherman, cry out, then saw the mountain lion dragging Sherman away. I think I started with absolute shock. Never thought that would happen. Um, and then panic going, what do I do? She first called her cousin who fired a gun that scared away the mountain lion. Then they retrieved the dog who surprisingly was not seriously hurt. But they say the mountain lion kept coming back. And she stood up and hissed and growled um, again and threatened us. So we went back inside and sat inside the rest of the night. During that time, Rebecca says the mountain lion killed two goats in their barn. Rebecca says State Fish and Wildlife gave her guidance, and a local animal group living with lions told her it has been tracking this 16-year-old lion. They also said while the older cat was still strong, it had lost most of its teeth. Two days later, a trapper connected with the wildlife agency came and killed the lion. Rebecca says she felt sad about it. I feel like I was protecting the community by putting this animal out of her misery. Um, cause she was not fit to live in the wild anymore without teeth. Living with lions agreed. It said on its Facebook post, while sad, lethal removal was the right course of action. Pointing out the lion's age, as well as declining health, accounted for its unusual behavior of feeding exclusively on livestock and putting herself near humans. Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News. A dog owner in Sonoma County is feeling grateful and lucky tonight. She caught a mountain lion on top of her 12-year-old dog right outside of her kitchen. Crown Force Teresa Astacio explains what happened next and what we're learning about this big cat. It was, it was a crazy night. Rebecca Cracker says it was around dusk on November 28th when she first heard Sherman growling, which she says is unusual because the border collie is 12 and typically sedate. But then she saw this, a mountain lion inside her house and grabbing onto Sherman. And the thought process that happened in my head really fast was like, this is not normal, like this is a mountain lion, like what's going on? She called friends for help and one fired a gun into the air, spooking the female cat away. My neighbor had brought his daughter that I went to school with and we both were sitting there like feeling all over him, trying to find some sort of wound and we couldn't find any, um, which amazing and very thankful. Cracker says later that evening they saw the animal again hovering by the fence. She alerted the state wildlife fish and game. I have never seen a mountain lion on this property. We've lived on this property, my family for 50 years or more, but never have we personally had any issues. That's until Cracker says the mountain lion snuck into her home through an open sliding door. The animal had also killed three goats on her property. State fish and wildlife officials determined the mountain lion was a threat and a trapper put her down on December 3rd. Could have been a little kid. Like I've got lots of friends with two year olds, three year olds. It could have been one of them and she could have killed Sherman and I it, I think a lot of it had to do with my presence standing there and distracting her, but it could have been way worse. And it turns out that the big cat had a history. Known as P1, an environmentalist group, the Audubon Canyon Ranch had tagged her and tracked P1 for nearly 10 years, including when she birthed two different litters known as mild mannered. And as a super mom, she was close to 16 years old which a spokesperson says is rare for the breed. Cracker says Sherman was in shock after the attack. She says she named him Sherman after Sherman the tank because he was so solid as a pup. Ironically, that tank-like posture perhaps saved his life. Yeah, we're uh, happy that Sherman is doing well and happy that the situation's been handled for our community. Teresa Estacio, Crown 4 News. I didn't leave my house if it was dark. I left 
work early to come home and feed my outside animals. Tonight, stunning video from right through that sliding glass door. One homeowner having to handle this repeat visitor of a mountain lion in her backyard. Good evening, I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. Uh, now, this homeowner in Santa Rosa has seen mountain lions come around before and has tried everything to keep them away, but this time it got way too close. Yeah, it did. ABC 7 News reporter Tim John spoke with a woman earlier. Happy her dog Sherman is alive and recovering tonight. Shocking video showing the moments after a mountain lion dragged an elderly dog out of a North Bay home. On the night of November 28th, Rebecca Crocker says she was relaxing at her house when suddenly she heard her dog Sherman cry out. He looked like he was convulsing, um, so I went running forward thinking, oh, maybe he's having a seizure. Um, and then I realized that his body was moving like across the floor. Crocker says the mountain lion had come into the kitchen through an open sliding door. Panicked, she called her neighbor, who was able to scare the mountain lion away with a warning gunshot. But, Crocker says, Sherman was lying lifeless on her patio. She feared the worst. Suddenly my dog popped up and we all went, you saw that too, right? Like he's alive? Luckily, Sherman had minimal injuries. Crocker thinks the mountain lion was missing several teeth. She called the Department of Fish and Wildlife, who she says advised her to stay in the house until their staff arrived the next day. A few hours later, she decided to take the dogs out to use the bathroom before bed, not knowing that the mountain lion was still nearby. She stood up and hissed and growled, I guess. Um, and we herded all the dogs back inside and sat and watched her watch us for another 30 minutes. It would take Fish and Wildlife officials five more days to catch and put down the mountain lion, which they say was old and senile. But not before, Crocker said, it came back and killed two of her goats inside her barn. It's been assumed that they either had heart attacks or she crushed their windpipes. Crocker says while she's relieved the animal is no longer a threat, the experience has had an impact on her. For the consequential week that followed, I didn't leave my house if it was dark. I left work early to come home and feed my outside animals um, so that I wasn't exposed on my way back from the barn to the house. In Santa Rosa, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News.